we doing? Going to We're going to be charts with Captain Dave and Your Majesty. <laughs> Oh, honey, we're out in the water. Honey, are we in the ocean? We're like four miles out. Off of Key West? Yes, ma'am. What are we doing out here? We're going with Key West Extreme Adventures to go feed some wild sharks. Woohoo! Come along for the ride, everybody! <laughs> Get some! So this is probably my favorite thing we did out there. And yes, favorite is a word. <laughs> and by the way, it was definitely the coolest thing I think we did down there. Uh, the guys at um, Key West. Cool Key West Adventures are amazing. They're they're fun. It didn't. It, it yes, they're people I wanted to hang out on a boat with. They take us what four or five miles yeah. out, mm -hmm. and every day they come and feed them at the exact same time, so the sharks actually know what the motor sounds yep. like, and it's kind of like a dinner bell for them. So the bait they're actually using is called bonita, and it's kind of similar, I guess, to yellowfin tuna. He said it wasn't very good for people to eat, but some people may argue that. Yeah, well, we, we eat anything. It's kind of what we do. So, yeah, we just kind of went out there, and it was cool. There was no sharks, and we were all looking around in the water like, we want to see a shark, we want to see a shark. And before you know it, we have like 40 sharks surrounding us like instantly. It was so cool. Sarah, I think you're supposed to I know, to but I'm, I'm waiting for the trivia to come up. <laughs> well, honey, now you kind of ruined it. Everybody knows it's time for... Trivia! You, you guys didn't think you'd be getting a quiz in this video. Trivia time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're switching things up. We got trivia. So, honey, <laughs> what's the question? What kind of sharks are these? Ooh, that's a very good question, actually. Anyone got any ideas? Are they a tiger shark? Ooh. You think they could be a tiger shark? Um, maybe. Are they lemon sharks? They could be a lemon shark. They could be. Or are they, are they the bull sharks? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Pause the video. Get your answers ready and comment down below. We need Jeopardy music like do 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 do. We were actually going to put like facts in here, but this is funner, I think. Well, you can't get the facts until you get the right answer. Ding, 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 ding! The right answer is... They're a lemon shark! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Nice! Get ready for some lemon fact sharks. Or facts. Lemon shark facts. Yeah. Honey, tell us about lemon sharks. Honey, do you know why lemon sharks are named lemon sharks? Why are they called lemon sharks, honey? Because they're named for their yellow-brown skin that helps them camouflage in the sandy tropical waters they inhabit. Nice. She got that straight out of Google, everybody, but... Actually, I'm on Oceana.org. But, yeah, interesting facts. All right, trivia time's over. Look at these guys. I mean... Did yeah. you know that the largest lemon shark ever recorded was around 12.1 feet? And we had about a 9-foot lemon shark really? on our footage right here. I didn't even know that. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a little over 9 feet, the guy said. And, interesting fact, not about tiger sharks. Do you know that more people die every year from coconuts falling out of the tree and hitting them on the head than being killed by a shark? And these are lemon sharks, not tiger sharks. I see what you did there. You're trying to confuse them on the trivia, though. Oh, they caught <laughs> me. It was good. But no, it was a good time. And actually, another fact, more people die from vending machines yep. falling on them than shark sharks. kills every year. Um, I, I, you know, went into it like sharks are big, violent animals like Absolutely most people would think. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, if you watch the sharks during this video, they're very respectful of one another. You can see that they they take turns. They aren't biting each other. They're only going after the bait. Everybody gets a turn. They're almost kind of like dogs, like a pack of dogs if you really watch them. Yeah. Oh, look at that guy. He oh, he, he almost he got, got him. him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Deb, it, it was so cool. I, I There's no way this video can explain or, or show you 
what it was like to be there. It's just pure awe. It, 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 it is. I mean, just look at this guy. He's literally going to rip this shark in half right now. It, it's just crazy. Especially coming from, like, never seeing the ocean, like, never seeing a shark before, like, a live shark. It was just amazing. 10 yeah. out of 10. Would recommend. Life experience. And for awesome. people who don't know, when I met this little honey bunny... She's never been more than a couple hours from where she was born her whole life. And that's why we take these adventures and share them with you. <laughs> so she's never seen the ocean. She's been out on boats and yep. stuff, but she's never been out in the ocean. And her first trip out into the ocean, this is the experience, everybody. Definitely cool. And this is the, like event that I wanted to do. You got to pick something. I got to pick something. You're like, honey, what do you want to do? And I was like, I want to go feed sharks. If you guys wonder why I love this woman, <laughs> I'm like, honey, I'm taking you to Key West. What do you want to do? And I said, I want to go feed sharks. <laughs> and I looked at her and said, I love you and booked the tickets. It was amazing. <laughs> so, honey, let's get into it. How much were the tickets? They were 90 a person. 90, 88, somewhere in yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Which is completely fair if you go hire a boat to go out for a couple hours you're looking at like 60 bucks or something down in key west or somewhere in there so a person yeah a person to get out so i mean for the 90 dollars and what we got like two two and a half three hours yeah, out there two two and a half hours and you get to go on their boat called the tiger cat which i thought was pretty cool it was definitely cool <laughs> uh going back once to the guys uh, the one guy I'm still set on, he's like, he said his actual name, or you can call him Your Majesty, and he sent him to a bunch of other things. So <laughs> if you notice in the beginning of the video, I called him Your Majesty, and he gave me the big thumbs Dave up. Dave Your Majesty. Yeah, but definitely, <laughs> definitely fun people. Um, you he know, told us, like, so don't mean to interrupt you, but I wanted to say this before I forget. He told us, like, some really cool, like, ocean stories. Like, he said that he's seen, like... A five foot like sea centipede thing that like nothing that's ever been like categorized before. Well, I mean, most of the ocean is undiscovered. Yeah. So I mean, we don't even know what's out there. And I just guys, thought that was cool. These guys are living on the ocean every day, but back to the sharks. No, it's definitely cool. <laughs> um, if like no one said anything, but if people didn't get enough shark feeding, they would have loaded up more sharks for us. You know, yeah. And they they ask people to. They're not afraid to ask people to like move back, or if you're not. Oh, there's a good my view, honey. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> they want to make sure everybody gets a good view, good pictures, good videos. They're very conscious of you, the customer, and the experience that they're giving you. Yeah, it was totally cool. Uh, we did edit the things with the kids out and stuff because we don't want to put that on YouTube. But there were some kids, and they did let them throw the fish tails in yep. and uh, let the kids, you know, feed them, which was definitely cool. So if you go, you are guaranteed, well, you should be guaranteed to see sharks, and they'll do everything in their power to make sure you get to see good shark feeding. Uh, here they switch to the other side of the boat, and it just... Man, I mean, seriously, just watch this video again and just mute me and Sarah. Yeah. And just, just watch these sharks. It, it is cool. So kind of like a cute, fun fact about the guy feeding sharks is he has a favorite shark, and her name is Dot. Dot. And because she has a black dot on her head, so that's how he knows that that's Dot. And he just likes to see her and feed her, and I was like, oh, that's really cute. Yeah, it's definitely fun. Uh, I don't know, there's probably about... Like 15, 20 people, 15, 20, 20, 15 people. people on there, and we weren't crapped or anything. Um, they had coolers. Uh, they make sure you grab out of the right cooler. The wrong cooler has all the fish in it, so you don't <laughs> want to dig in there. But they had sodas and water and stuff yeah. there for you, so nothing to worry about. Uh, the one big thing is make sure you use the bathroom before you go out there. Now, they do have a bathroom on the boat, but... Literally, you open this little, like, side cubby, and you <laughs> climb down a hole, and it's yeah. like a little pot you gotta yeah. poop in. Not a situation anyone's gonna want to be in. But I would not recommend doing that. I, I, I highly recommend doing this. It was so much fun. They have awesome stories to tell. 
Uh, they're really fun to hang out with. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're probably some of the coolest people. They're definitely <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely cool people. Um, I, I I recommend so much. Um, it's fun for the whole family. Yeah, it, it's educational. It's fun. You get time out on the ocean. Oh, I don't know. Is it technically the ocean or the Gulf? You like ride the line of the ocean and the Gulf. And it's it's amazing. It's fun. We've been trying to put this video together for a while. We just haven't had a lot of time to put it together. I've actually had this video done um, for almost like a month now, I think. Yum. Not quite Yum. a month, but... Yum. Yeah, look at him just shake <laughs> that. Oh, just... It is so cool. And did you know that sharks have an unlimited number of teeth? Yep, they have rows and rows of teeth. So they naturally shed them when they're biting into things, bumping into things, ripping prey apart. So they have like rows and rows and rows of teeth. So I definitely got to get a shark tooth necklace in my oh, life. That would then. be cool. That, that would be pretty cool. So, I mean, yeah, we were going to put all kinds of weird facts and stuff well, in Well, I here. got another one. Ooh, I got another facts. fun lemon shark fact. Lemon sharks have a very broad appetite, eating all kinds of fish, rays, crustaceans, seabirds, and other sharks. Nice. And as long as eating other sharks, why do they tell us about it? So what they mean by eating other sharks is the lemon sharks will go into the mangrove island islands around Key West and give birth, um, but they will eat their babies. They are cannibalistic. So when a mother shark gives birth, she goes into kind of like a comatose state. So it gives the a babies, hypnotic state. Mm-hmm, yep. It gives the babies the highest chance of survival to get away, to get into those mangroves. So they'll spend like two or three years of their life, the so, beginning of their life. In so those what mangroves. Sarah's saying, when they're giving birth, the sharks like zone out and don't know what's going on, and then after they give birth, they'll come back too. And this is to help uh, their babies get away because they will eat their own babies. And did you know that there is no accurate way to tell the age of a shark because they have no bone, they're all cartilage, so there's nothing they can do? They can't carbon date them. Except, honey, for one shark. What shark's that? The Greenland shark. The Greenland shark does actually have bones in it, so they can date it. So all these sharks that we're looking at right here, we have no clue. They could be 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. Mm-hmm. They, they could be 100 years old. They never stop aging. Yep. Yeah, so the age of sharks, and actually a lot of the knowledge we have about sharks, we just don't have. Yeah, it's pretty limited. We actually learned from these Ooh. guys that sharks don't get cancer. They're used in cancer studies, Alzheimer's studies. It's... They're, they're a pretty big deal for the medical industry. Honey, what are we doing now? We're looking for stingrays. We didn't see any. Some people pointed like they seen some. I didn't see any. So after everything, we go out on like another hour cruise or so looking for dolphins. And guess what? Sea Spoiler turtles. alert. We might get to see some dolphins. Oh, look at that beautiful honey bunny right there. That's my <laughs> honey. I love her so much. I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm just like, this is great. I'm looking at the ocean. Oh, now you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> so we went out. Uh, cool thing. Uh, coming up, we're going to see a couple birds. I don't remember what the birds were mm-hmm. called. But the really cool thing about it is we are five, six, seven miles out in the Away middle of the ocean. Land. And these birds are just chilling. Uh, the one we're gonna, I don't know, one of these we're gonna see fly because he, like, tried to run it over. Not run it over, but went his direction. So you'll see him come flying out of the left here pretty soon. I bet you those lemon sharks would eat those seabirds. I bet you those lemon sharks would eat the snails out of them birds. snails out of the birds. They did say they do eat crustaceans. But regardless of the shark feeding, you just get to go cruise in the ocean, and what's the point of going to the Keys if you can't get out and enjoy the ocean? Um, it is handicap accessible. Mm-hmm. If somebody needs help getting on, they do have a ramp they can get on. We didn't use that. We just hopped on like, wah, we're here. Yeah, it was a pretty easy step. It was definitely fun. It was right there in the main harbor. 
Uh, if you are looking for them, it's just a little ticket shack that they have out front that you check in. Oh, there goes the bird. <laughs> It was it, it wasn't hard to find. Like there's a parking ramp right by, like this pier dock. It's kind of by behind a hotel condo type of oh, thing. Oh, oh, honey, a dolphin! A dolphin! Where? Oh, he, he was over there. I didn't see him. It's all right. <laughs> we might have better footage coming up. <laughs> so one of the captains, Dave. He used to work with dolphins. He worked with dolphins, captive dolphins, for like 20 years or something. And he said they're the only animal that he's ever seen actually, like, intellectually play a trick on pupils. There he is. They actually thought this dolphin had a baby dolphin with it. It didn't, but that would have been really cool to see, like, a little baby dolphin. Yeah, I would have loved to see a baby dolphin. A little baby dolphin. And it's cool, so when the dolphins go out and actually fish, um, they say it's very common for when the dolphins catch the fish, they will actually play with their food and actually bring it up to the boat and show everybody, hey, look, I got a fish, you know. I, I think the dolphins, look at him. Look at oh this epic just, footage. It is just, I mean. We drove right over it. It is just so cool. It was, it was I, awesome. I, I got to see a dolphin, everybody. Super it's, up close, like five feet well, away. Like, yeah, that, that's Wild my dolphin. shadow right there. Wild dolphin. Chilling with a live dolphin. It was super, super, super cool. Um, Yeah, I think this video is getting ready to wrap up a little bit. But take time. Check out their website. Um, they have all the information you need. You can book your tickets. Check them out. I, we it. highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. Do it, do it, do it. And, yeah. It, it was the coolest thing we did down in the Keys. 30 out of 10 stars. 100%. 30 <laughs> out of 10. 32 out of 10. Yes. It, it was great. So check their website out. You know, get a chance. Go down there. Look at their trip advisor. Look at their pictures. Look at their reviews. It, it was... If I have the opportunity to do it again, I will do it again. You can go down. You can drop them a line. Ask them any questions you want. Thanks for stopping by and checking Thanks us out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hang on tight for the next video. Woohoo!